Before the podcast begins, I want to just give a special shout out to Simon Cleath, who drew up this logo for me that you will be staring at for the, for the next hour and 10 minutes. And for the rest of all my podcasts, to be honest, I will be using this logo moving forward on all of my platforms. So I hope you guys could see the great work he did here and the time he took out of his day to actually do this. Uh, he has a, his own slot channel called It's a Slot Machine. Uh, if you guys would go check it out, that would be great. Please subscribe to him as well. And uh, you can find him on Facebook at Simon Cleath. Simple as that. Ask him to draw something up for you guys. And, and I do appreciate it, Simon. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate you taking out your time for me. The logo looks absolutely great, and it just signifies everything that I talk about with the cherries and all that. So thank you again very much, my friend. I appreciate it. What's up, guys? NJ Slot Guy here. We are going into podcast episode four, and today I have a very, very special guest with me, and it is Tim from The Big Payback. Tim, how are you, brother? Hey, I'm, I'm doing great, and uh, thanks, for, thanks for having me. This is, I've been looking forward to this. This is going to be a lot of fun. Thanks for joining me, and thanks for taking the time out of your day to do so. I'm really um, keen on letting everybody get to know some of the slot channels and stuff like that. So that's that's really the turn that I've taken with this podcast when I started. But I want to get to know you guys as well. So I'm going to get to know you, you know, through the podcast and on some things that I don't know, as well as all the subscribers and people and viewers. So, you know, I'm, I'm really looking forward to our Q&A, man. Yeah, you know, it sounds great. I, I just listened to one of yours uh, uh, the other day with Slotman Jack, and, you know, it was great. You know, just a lot of fun. You know, we all kind of, you know, do the same thing, you know, doing the videos, but getting a little, little more information out there, you know, it's just great to, you know, just learn a little bit more about us. So, yeah, th this sounds great. Yeah. Sounds great. Yeah, it's definitely awesome. And if you guys don't know, which I'm sure you do, um, the Big Payback has 62,000 subscribers, 1,100 plus videos and 52 million views as well as as his own webpage uh, thebigpayback.com so please go check all that out if you haven't subscribed to his channel please do so and hit the bell to stay notified when he posts up all of his wonderful videos which I enjoy so much so hey thanks so much <laughs> I really appreciate that of course of course now when when did you when did you actually start doing this you know um, I think it was the fall of 2014, you know, it was, gosh, uh, <laughs> so long ago now, uh, it was right around the time when I had hit that, that huge jackpot on Zeus, uh, you know, I, I'd won that $33,000, and, um, you know, I, I just, I, I don't know if I was watching YouTube, or I had, you know, some other idea, but, you know, I just was starting to think, well, you know, I'm going to record some of the slot play, especially... You know, back then there were a few machines that were playing, you know, was playing on high limit, you know, doing the $45 a spin. And I thought, yeah, you know, this could be cool. And, you know, especially at the time, um, you know, for, for the longest time, I, I was always thinking, like, wouldn't it be great to, like, make a casino locator, you know, on the Internet? You know, I've seen, you know, others, uh, other people have done it, but they hadn't done it well. And I was thinking, yeah, you know, I could have this YouTube channel and, you know, bring some awareness to it. And, um, you know, that's how I started out. And it was actually my first foray into social media. Um, never did Twitter, never did Facebook, never, never YouTube or anything. That's very interesting, actually, because I was going, my, my follow-up question was going to be, how did you start? Just like I kind of did with Jack, like his, his whole story was pretty cool, too, and I, I always say, you know, how did you start? Like, how did you, what's your story behind, you know, what happened? So you, you basically just answered that for me. It, it, it always seemed like, it always seems like it's a very interesting background story of, you know what, I took a shot, I ended up, you hit that big one. That's one of the first videos that I've ever watched of you. And when, when I go back and talk about how I got into this and I was sitting on the couch with my father and I was searching around on YouTube, when I went down that rabbit hole that night, and your video, man, with the Zeuses, because like I right. told you, I'm a big, I'm a big Zeus fan, and yeah, it's a great game. I I can only find that big, big forty five dollar a bet machine over at Sands in Pennsylvania, and man, I love that machine so much. And I hit the four lightning bolts the one time, okay, yeah, twenty five spins. But I wasn't. This was before I started recording, and right, right. That would have been. That would have been an awesome video, but come to find out, 25 spins, I think I hit 400, 450 maybe. That's all it was. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, yeah, it's so heartbreaking. Yeah, I, 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 I've done that before too. Yeah, I had the four lightning bolts, and I've always wanted to get you know the five for the hundred, you know the hundred oh, free spins, man. but I've never been able to do it. I was you know like almost one click away at the forty five dollar bet level one time, and just couldn't do it. Oh but, man. Yeah, it's such a great game, and you know at my local um, at the time, you know it, it was really like a unicorn machine. I mean, as in I had over a hundred thousand in. Uh, uh, W2Gs just on, I think, Zeus alone that year. That's and, uh, I, I mean, it was crazy. I mean, it was such a great machine. And then, you know, it got updated and, you know, it's no longer with us. Um, you know, it's, Same. you know, every now and then you can find those machines that, um, you know, I'm not saying they're profitable over the long term, but I'm saying they're at least playable. And, um, that was one of them. And, and yeah, so I started doing like a lot of Zeus, uh, Kronos, a lot of high limit stuff. And, you know, at the time, it was just more, you know, it was fun. It was, uh, you know, once again, you know, keeping an eye toward creating that other project. And, you know, it's funny how you hear a lot of, you know, entrepreneurs, um, they, uh, you know, you hear similar stories. They start, you know, thinking like, hey, I'm going to do this for one reason. And then it turns into a life of its own. And, and that's what happened with, uh, with my channel. Right. Right. Very. In now, when when you say you're local, where are you? Where is your location? Like, what are you? Where are you based out of? Uh, Cleveland, Ohio. There you go. Yeah, not not not, not Vegas or anything like that. Um, yeah, I've I've uh, lived in Cleveland all my life. Um, I, I I love it here. Um, you know, I live here with my wife and uh, uh, my dog Smokey here, who's keeping me uh, company. And um, most of my family is also in Cleveland, too, um, with the exception of my uh, father, who, uh, you know, is retired down in Florida. So it gives us a great reason to go down there, um, you know, as we can. So, uh, yeah, Cleveland's great. And, you know, any, you know, I pick almost any direction, um, you know, and, uh, you know, get in the car and I could do a road trip. And there's a lot of different options on where to play. See, that's that's really cool. Whereas, like, I only, I'm, you know what? Actually, I shouldn't say I don't have a lot of options. I do. But it seems like, you know, AC is the place to be, man. Atlantic City. Uh, over yeah, here. Yeah. On this coast, sure. obviously. Just like uh, Biloxi is the place to go down south. So it's, it's like when you have Atlantic City right there, I mean, it's a good two-hour drive for me. But it's like, okay. do, do you go to Pennsylvania where there's, you know, a little bit weird machines and... They don't have these old school machines that I really love so much. They right. have these weird ones. Or do I just suck it up and go two hours and just go down to Atlantic City and, and you know, do that? Or do I go to Foxwoods, which is three hours away? Right. So I do have my options. I shouldn't say I don't, but it just seems like, you know, man, it's Atlantic City. Go to Atlantic City, you know? So I, I love Atlantic City. I haven't been there in a number of years now. Um, uh, but, you know, I just have the greatest memories. Gr growing up, um, you know, we'd take a family vacation to Wildwood, New Jersey. Oh, and, uh, that's my that, spot, <laughs> man. That's my spot, right? dude. I go there three oh, times yeah. a year. That's my spot. Oh, no, no way. Yeah, yeah I, I, I haven't been there in, you know, <laughs> I don't know, 20 years, 25 years, whatever it's been. And But growing up, you know, it's the best memories. Um, you know, we yeah, we'd go there, we go on the beach, we hit the boardwalk. And then, of course, on the way home, we'd make a little detour in Atlantic City. And, uh, of course. you know, us kids... Yeah, yeah, you know, we, we'd hit the arcades and the boardwalk, and, um, you know, my, my mom and my dad, they, they'd hit the casino. And, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe it's not shocking that I end up, uh, you know, uh, hitting the casino myself. But, um, yeah, just, I, I love Atlantic City. Um, and, uh, you know, look forward to, you know, getting back there again, you know, sometime this year, hopefully. I mean, the, you just told my whole childhood story, so... I guess I don't have to go into that. Of, <laughs> no, because like like I said to Jack, and, and you know what's funny? It used to be, you would think now would be different. It used to be so kid-friendly down there, Atlantic City. Right. And now it's just not. Or maybe I'm not looking in the right places, but even at, at the Golden Nugget, when right before I had my son a couple years back, and I would go down my father, and he goes, oh, I cannot wait to bring him down here because they had a big arcade room as soon as you walk right. in. And of course... Like I said to you before, never a dull moment. My son came. A year later, that's when he started walking all that stuff. They got rid of the arcade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it, it's unbelievable, it's, man. It really yeah. is. So I don't even know where the place is to go down there, which is kid-friendly. Kid I have to really do. I'm going to make it my goal on this podcast, maybe when I don't have guests. But I want my next 10 podcasts to be all with slot channels like yourself and Jack. 
and just yeah. get to know every single person. I mean, that would be like a hundred podcasts, but like all the main people or even some new up and comers, stuff like that. That's my main goal. But what I really want to get into like a, a review of all the casinos down there, which ones are kid friendly, which sure. are the best food. You know what I mean? So yeah, absolutely. I, I That'd be great. Bring more life to it, man. I, I want to, I want to take it over. I, I, I literally had said that to to the um, to the gentleman that I spoke to over at Ocean Resort down there, I, I said to him, "Listen, man, nobody's doing this over here." I said, "You get a couple guests here and there. Brian goes there, and Scott goes there, and you get them for you know a couple days, once a year, maybe twice. I'm going to be here once a month at the very least. Sure. I'm trying to take this place over. Like this is going to be my realm of of a place, and that's my goal. I want to bring everybody to AC. I want you to come." I want Jack to come down here. I want everybody to come down here, but you need to promise me that if you do take a trip to AC, you get me involved, and we do a collaboration, whatever. We do something like that, and you stay you stay down there on my dime when you go down there. You know what I mean? That's my word. Yeah, hey, I appreciate that. Yeah, absolutely. Well, no, and, and you know what? I mean, it, it, it's so sad because Atlantic City, you know, I, I think maybe they, they rested a little bit on their laurels because it used to be, you know, you go to Atlantic City or you go to Vegas, and then all these regional casinos started popping up. And they, they didn't compete. And you look at the industry now and, you know, like you're saying, hey, let's have events, you know, let's let's try something new and let's, you know, and, and it helps. It, it really does to bring people back. You know, there's nothing more that I'd love to see than, uh, you know, a resurgence in Atlantic City, you know, because it does have so much to offer. But they, they, they have to make the effort. And I, I think there's, they, they've been making steps over the past few years, but I haven't followed it, you know, that closely. But hopefully they're, um, you know, they're, they're just on the upswing at this point. You know what, man? The, the big jackpot, actually, he made a very good point. In, in his last interview that I watched in full, he made a very good point that things are going to start dying down because of the millennials. These aren't people that play slot machines. These aren't people that are right. involved in that realm. It's going to be another 20 years before we see our children or, or our, like, I can't say generation, obviously. I don't know what the, what the word is I'm looking for. And it's going to revert back to the slot machines and whatnot. So it's going to be harder for them to draw clouds. Draw clouds, I said. Draw crowds. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. And... We can demand a lot more out of them. Look what I'm doing for you. Look what I'm bringing to your casino. That's not being cocky or, or you know, overly confident. That's being truthful. Like I'm bringing people to this casino for you to gamble and put money into your machines. I'm, I am, you know, let's just say, what am I at? I don't even know how. Eh, let's let's use you. Fifty-two million views, right? You have fifty-two yeah, yeah. million views of you at these casinos playing and whatnot. All you're doing is helping them. How can they deny anything that we bring to the table as long as we are obviously respectful on our end? Like, it, it's, yeah, it's mind-boggling to me. I, I know. You know, it, it's, um, uh, you know, first of all, uh, you know, what Scott, the big jackpot said was a very insightful comment. Um, you know, there... You, you see in the industry, there are all these moves to try and, you know, how can we engage the millennials? And, you know, there was this um, fad or, you know, uh, of creating uh, like skill-based slot machines or something, which um, I, I, I don't think that's that's making any headway. I don't know, maybe it is, but um, it, it, it's, a nut to, it's definitely a tough nut to crack. And casinos need to be more, you know, land-based casinos, they need to be more open with with these strategies, um, you know, of engaging, you know, di different, you know, di different generations of people, uh, because he's absolutely right. You know, be before they know it, um, you know, growth might really just sink, right, um, or, or or go negative. Um, and they need to be open about, you know, trying different things. And, and we're at that point. And you know, when I speak to you know certain like marketing managers or security at casinos, a lot of them they, they have no idea, no clue. They have they, no clue of what's, um, you know, going on in YouTube and, you know, there's like, I don't know, I'd estimate maybe a million slot videos watched every day. Right. And, uh, you know, and it's only going to get bigger. It's it's only going to get bigger. Oh, or yeah. I, I, I mean, I would, at least that's my assumption. Um, oh, and I, absolutely. I, I'd place a nice amount of money on it. And, um, you know, they should be joining us Correct. instead of fighting us. Correct. And, and, 
you know, you see, you know, certain casinos like uh, San Manuel, um, you know, they're engaging, you know, the slot community and it's right. great. And, and you know what, I want to, I want to visit them. You know, I want, I want to go there now. Um, and, you know, it may take, you know, just some, you know, out of the box thinking and, and who knows, you know, it, it, it's, it's definitely an interesting time now. Yeah. Like my, my argument was like my, my group poll that I just did at the Golden Nugget. That is the first time that they ever let this happen, let alone recording, because right. I, I was doing it very discreetly because I knew everybody there. I knew all the attendants. My whole family goes there. I bring all the people. So nobody ever bothered me. I have been stopped there before by sure. a security guard that doesn't recognize me or whatever it is. And that's when I kind of was like, okay, this is going to become a problem. I need to get in touch with whoever it is. And luckily I did. They watched all my videos. They said, this is unbelievable content that you're putting up here. Sure. And I'm like, yeah, and it's all your machines. Like, you don't see – there is not one video that's like, oh, this is, you know, NJ Slot guy here from Harris, from Borgata, from Caesars, from Hard Rock. It's all Golden Nugget. They are all Golden Nugget. So, Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Well, let me, let me rephrase. In Atlantic City, all of my videos are – our golden nugget. Whereas like I have a couple videos from Sands in Bethlehem. I think I have okay. one video from Mount Airy, but I mean, let's just say I, I have 68 videos. If I have 60 videos up of Atlantic city, it's all golden nugget, all of it. And how can you, and they, they haven't. So I'm, I'm not, it, it's just all hypothetical. I'm talking about like the other casinos that I'm having an issue with where no responses are happening. Golden nugget has been nothing but going nuts since this group sure. call. They have been talking about it. My parents were just down there with my brother a week ago. They called me, and they were like, people are going nuts here for you. Like, all the attendants, they couldn't believe the turnout. They couldn't believe what happened, and now I think I broke the mold. So I'm hoping – and I just got approval again to film, like, just by myself, which, right, I, right. which I thought was going to be an issue because it seemed like at first when I was talking to them that – it was like, okay, yeah, if you're going to do a group poll, you're bringing 20 people here with you. Yeah, of course, you know, we're, we'll go through everything we can. But it kind of seemed like when I said, okay, cool, how about when I'm down there on my own? Am I able to record? And they, right. were, they were kind of like, uh, you know, and I was like, uh-oh. I said, okay, see, so this is step two. Luckily, broke that barrier too now. Next time I'm going down, which is with the wife, I got approval to film by myself. No people with me, no anything. So it's like, okay, good. So now, now let's get the other eight, nine casinos on board here, and now I have a bargaining tool. Like, look at these videos, guys. Look what I'm doing. Here you go. This could be you. Yeah. This could be your and casino. I mean, but it still blows my mind. It's like, like, like you said, look, I have a bargaining tool. They should be coming to you. I agree. I mean, right, you know, they, they should be, uh, you know, you're, it, it's like you're making the case uh, you know, for you to drive, you know, customers to them, you know, when, you know, they should be, you know, giving incentives to you to do so. And maybe, you know, they end up, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, you know, uh, we'll end up doing that. Um, but, you know, once again, it just kind of shows, you know, the ignorance out there right now. And, you know, the, the point we are with doing this, um, you know, with the industry where, you know, a lot of people, they just don't understand it. And, and, you know, I get that, um, if you didn't understand it, that you may have like certain privacy concerns, you know, I, I make, uh, uh, an extreme amount of effort to protect everybody's privacy. I'm not filming anybody. Uh, I'm not filming myself. I'm not filming anybody else in the casino. I'm just filming the machine. Right. And, you know, I, I even go through the effort of, you know, if somebody's announced over the, uh, uh, you know, the loudspeaker, um, that, uh, you know, I'll mute out uh, uh, their name, you know, and, and, and I respect that. And I understand how maybe other people wouldn't, but, you know, to create just a blanket policy to, uh, you know, uh, uh, stop it all when you can have a reasonable policy, you know, it doesn't make sense in my mind. Um, you know, certain casinos maybe that are rolling in the dough now, hey, you know, we, we get a recession. They say casinos recession proof. I don't believe that. Um, uh, or as, you know, generations get older, like we're talking about the millennials before, you know, um, the, the, the good times won't always be here. Especially if, uh, you know, another casino opens up right down the road from you. Um, uh, you know, competition has a way of doing that, and that's good for players. Um, so, 
Uh, yeah, it, it's it's interesting, and I'm glad to hear the Golden Nugget has made positive steps, and uh, you know, hopefully the rest will follow. I hope so. I just got approval to film at Tropicana down there, and I mean, I'm in touch with Ocean. I had a very good conversation with one of the hosts there, but I had reached out to you know people above him because there's only so much a host can do, right. and no responses. You're talking two, three weeks. I leave my link. I. I leave my contact at Golden Nugget, you know, and, right. and, and I say, you know, you could speak to her on my behalf as well and just double check everything and nothing. You have no interest in this, no response, wow. nothing. And it's just like, what are you doing? You know, but, business must be good, man. I, I guess must so. Be must good. be nice. Yeah, right. M- must be nice. I, wow. I, guess, I guess you guys are OK, you know, but it's just so funny. <laughs> it's just so funny because no- nothing against them or, yeah. or, or him, but the big jackpot's going to be there at the end of February. Right. He obviously seeked approval for that. You know, sure. He's, he's, he's not going to travel all the way over here and just on a whim. So it's just like, is it because I'm not as big? Is it because – because that doesn't make sense. That's not something that I believe in. You know, oh, this channel's way bigger than that one. We should, it doesn't matter. It's free advertising regardless. It shouldn't matter how big your channel is, how small your channel is. I'm giving you – free advertising and i'm asking for well, and, and not only that but you know i i have to say you your channel has got to be the number one up and coming slot channel you're killing it man um you know you're getting a huge number of views and you know even though your subscribers at this point you know you're still growing that i mean you just started but um you know it it it, it takes two minutes to figure out that the exposure that you're giving Versus you're 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 um, uh, you know comparable to any of the major you know most of the major ch- uh, slot channels. Um, so yeah, don't sell yourself uh, short. Um, your exposure for for anybody it, it would be great exposure. And on top of it, Tim, all I do is play high limit machines. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, it, it it's not like I'm coming in here and I'm putting a hundred dollars in a penny machine and then I'm gone. I'm sitting here and I'm putting thousands into your machines. How can you? I I, I, I know I know I know. Whatever. It's it's a strange yeah, industry for yeah. sure. We, I'm sure we can we could cover this whole <laughs> podcast on on how on the anger of both of us. And apparently YouTube does not like me too much because I am still under review, my friend. So oh my gosh, please oh. please I, I I can't I I I've been talking about this with all you guys for. How long? I, I mean, even East Coast Slots is leaving comments for me, going, "Are you monetized yet, man?" You know, like what? Whatever. We're not going to get. Into I mean, that. YouTube. A lot of you know viewers just don't understand what us creators go through with YouTube. I mean, I love YouTube as as a platform, but you know, it's it's scary. It, it's it's scary to be a creator, especially you know in the slot community, because um, you know. We're many times we can be misunderstood, right? And you know, none of us we're, we're doing nothing with online gambling, which still may be you know taboo or is taboo. And um, you know, but but I think anything maybe with gambling, you know, people are going to raise an eyebrow versus you know having a channel with pets or something like that, right? Of course, um, of course. Yeah, and but but it's like. You know, we spend, and, and this happened, what, maybe about a year ago or so. I, I know the Big Jackpot and Brian Christopher and a few other channels got, you know, shut down for a few days. On, on my it was, birthday. It happened on my birthday. Uh, and that's crazy, man. And, and it's like, um, and, you know, and I had a demonetization episode when I disconnected from uh, it, what they call an MCM, a multi-channel network. It was, you know, a firm that I had uh, uh, partnered with, you know, you know, I thought they could help me, you know, increase uh, uh you know, views and just give me some tips because, you know, I really started from scratch with this and it turned out not to be a good experience. But when I disconnected from them, you know, I basically was put in the back of the line and for three months I was, I was demonetized, you know, so a technical problem can occur and you're demonetized. Um, you know, you switch, you know, if you partner with an MCN and you switch, boom, you're back at the end of the line. Or if you're a new creator, you know, such as yourself, um, you know, they're, they're just having, uh, this huge backlog to go through. And then you, you wonder, like, um, I don't want to sound negative, but it's like, well, well what if the person rev- doing your review doesn't know what the hell they're they're talking, you know? Correct. Doesn't have a good grasp I on things. You know, what, you what, if, what if you get unlucky? And it's nuts. Yeah. It's nuts what Brian and Scott went through last year. That was messed it's up. It's like, I mean, it's messed up. How, how do you get a deactivation notice 
that says, look, you're done, you, you, you've appealed, you've lost, you're done, you can't do anything, and then two days, everything's back back online. Right. I don't get it. No. I don't get it. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense, man. Doesn't make sense. Trust me. We Again, like I said, another thing. We can... You know what, man? Yeah. I might need a part two and a part three with you, to be honest, <laughs> to, to, to cover all the other stuff. Um, as, as you can tell, I, I enjoy talking about this, and, and the irony that, um, you know, I've, I've pretty much... You know, kind of been a little bit of a closed book on my channel for a number of reasons. So maybe now that I have a platform, I guess you can't shut me up. It's it's pretty funny. Let's let's open you up, man. Let's open you up cool. a little bit. Um, what were your what were your original expectations when you first started your channel? Oh gosh, um, when I first started, yeah, it was. Um, I don't really think I had too many expectations. You know, it's kind of like I touched on when we started talking. You know, I was thinking like, hey, you know, I post some videos and maybe I can get a following and then maybe translate that over to, you know, the website and make, you know, that project work. Because um, just a little more background about myself, I'm a uh, uh, president of a internet development firm. Um, so we create, you know, custom solutions for the web. And, you know, we've been doing this for like, uh, gosh, um, you know, about 20 years now. Right. And, you know, right when the internet um, uh, first started and, you know, we've created all these custom solutions for a lot of companies, you know, over the years. And, you know, it, it, it's been an interesting ride because, you know, we've seen, you know, uh, you know, obviously a, a lot of properties, you know, go from nothing to, you know, huge, just huge, you know, highly successful properties. And, but we've never created anything ourselves internally. So I've always had this ambition, like, yeah, wouldn't it be great to, you know, do something ourselves? I mean, we're skilled at doing so, so why not? And, um, but as, as uh, the saying, what's the saying, uh, painter's house gets painted last, um, you know, it's been slow going with the development of that, uh, because it would be a big project, you know, as we, you know, work to pay the bills, um, you know, being consultants for, for other clients. And only so many hours in a day. So at the time, I was thinking, yeah, you know, I create this YouTube channel. I have, I have zero experience with social media. You know, maybe I could tie it to the Casino Locator website, and um, we'll see. And then, you know, it just kind of took on a life of its own, and, and I got hooked. Frankly, I got hooked, you know, seeing new subscribers appear every day. And then when I started making money on it, I'm, I'm like, wow, this is really interesting. Uh, but, of course, the landscape four years ago, uh, and over four years ago, go now is quite different than it is today right yeah i absolutely couldn't be more there's new slot channels every day um, yeah <clears throat> so what what casino or casinos haven't haven't you been to that you really want to get to like within the next oh, gosh. year or well, well that's an interesting question um you know have you ever been to the uh, bahamas before no i haven't okay so um i you know, put me on an island and I'm happy. You know, I, okay. I you know, <laughs> I, I, I work from home and usually by the time, you know, the weekend, you know, comes around, you know, I, I, I have to get out. So, you know, casino trips, yeah, that, that wouldn't be something. <laughs> um, yeah, that, that, that's something I obviously fairly frequently do. But yeah, I, I really enjoy the Bahamas. And, you know, years ago, there used to be a casino there called the, uh, the Crystal Palace. And, you know, it was... It was kind of a dive, but it was so much fun, you know. Um, so, you know, we'd go there, we'd be on the island, you know, hit the casino, and it, it was a blast. And um, then they shut it down because they, they re I guess they were rebuilding, you know, a huge resort property called Baja Mar. And I, I guess that opened up in the past year or two, um, you know, to compete with Atlantis. And I, I'd love to go there. You know, that would absolutely be one. Um uh, to check them out. I have no idea on their policies or anything like that. Um, but, you know, I, like I said, put me on an island um, and put me on an island with a casino and, and I'm happy. Um, yeah. so, How could you yeah. not? Be? How could you not? I mean, right, be? right. Um, so that, that would be, that would be one I want to check out. Let me, let me think what else. Um, I, I'd love to go to San Manuel in California. That, um, that was Jack's answer, answer too. And I think right. you guys are making me want to go there, you know, cause I really want to check that out now. Yeah, I, I mean, they've been so um, positive toward the slot community, um, and some of the videos that I've seen other channels uh, have, uh, you know, from from there, um, they seem to have a great variety of machines, you know, a great variety of de denominations. Um, yeah, I, I mean, it seems seems like, you know, I, I like I said, I've not been there, 
I, uh, but it seems like a really nice place. And because they support us, you know what? I'd like to support them. Um, so I think that would be great to go there, um, you know, sometime in the next year or so. Um, where else? You know, I, I, I love the destination places, um, you know, where there, you know, there's a city with like a, a number of casinos. And one place I was thinking about, um, it'd be fun to go to Deadwood. Um, I, I just think it would be fun. Sounds like it'd be a fun place. Um, you know, they have a bunch of casinos. Um, you know, there's a history of it. Um, you know, I, I don't really know much about it uh, other than that. Um, you know, but I think it'd be fun. So maybe one day we'll, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll make a trip there. Definitely, man. Have you ever been to Aruba? I have, as it's, a matter of fact. Everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere. It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It was, um, yeah. Yeah. Aruba is great. I oh. mean, a little bit of an effort to get there, but beautiful place. Uh, they have the casinos, you know, it's, it's, uh, you know, it's just, uh, you know, a higher end, uh, island. I mean, you know, it, it was fantastic. Yeah. Aruba, Aruba is awesome. I can vouch for it. I just wasn't sure. I didn't even want to take my phone out. I was terrified because I'm in a different country. I don't know what the rules are here. And right. <laughs> what if I hit a jackpot while I'm recording? They're like, whoa, you broke the rules here. We're not paying you. You know, like, so yeah. all, all kinds of weird stuff was going through my head. And ready for this, I hit a massive jackpot while I was there. Not important to discuss, you know, <laughs> um, values because, you know, there's no, there's no taxes out there. Right. You know? So I got to be right. careful there. So that's not important. Just know that it was a massive and it made the trip so much better because I actually had – we went uh, on a Monday to a Friday. I had food poisoning from Tuesday to Friday. Oh, no. That sucked. Um, that, wow. That really, that, really, that really sucked because yeah, that's, that's Aruba is a beautiful place where you can walk around. You're not stuck in one resort. So you can literally walk around the streets. It's safe there. And you could bounce from casino to casino, from place to place. Even you know, if you're not a casino person, there's a nice center of town where you can just go to a piano bar and a, this sure. and that. But – Obviously, me, the first thing that's on my mind is, okay, where did the casino start? Where did they end? I'm walking from one side to the other, you know, and I just wanted to check out. Wow. They are very, they are very updated. They, they are keeping well with, because I was expecting, you know, garbage machines or like, you know, right. throwaway machines, and which there are a couple, but man, they, they, they have lightning links there. They have all the new updated machines, machines that I haven't even seen here yet. You know, and I'm just like, yeah, this is this is pretty this is pretty awesome. You know, I can go to Aruba and do everything that I'm doing here, which is pretty cool because that's how I enjoy myself on vacation. I want to know where the casinos are. I want to gamble a little bit. <laughs> you know? Yeah, you, you know, it's so funny. Um, uh, my wife is uh, vegan, and uh, she's not a, a gambler, but um, you know, she'll be good sport about it. And uh, but we we both love to travel. And, you know, the, the kind of deal with us is, um, you know, we'll find a place, you know, we'll do a road trip or whatever, and, uh, you know, we'll find some great vegan restaurants, and then uh, we'll find some casinos. Yeah, right. Yeah, hey, man, it's got to be give and take. You find the vegan restaurants for her, you find the casinos for you, and that's it. It's an even deal. Well, it, you know, and I'll say, you know, I, I'm not, uh, you know, vegan or vegetarian, although I've, I've been, um, uh, you know, when, when your wife is vegan, you tend to, um, you know, eat less meat. Uh, you know, just, uh, well, well, that's what you cook, you know, you cook less of that, but, um, there is a restaurant in Philadelphia, um, uh, called Veg, and I'll, I'll say, you know what, one of the best meals, completely vegan, one of the best meals I've ever had, um, it's, you know, I don't, I don't care, you know, what your regular diet is, you know, you'll go there, you'll love it, you can't help but be impressed. Right. No, good. See that? Hear that, people? Make sure you listen to that. If you're in the Philadelphia area, go check that place out. Yeah, great, great, great place. Um, but, you know, it, it's, it's funny. Yeah, places I haven't gone, I, I I just love, you know, any places. Yeah, feel free to reach out to me. You know, I, I love it when you have a good mixture of the new machines, the old machines, um, you know, multi-denominational, um, and, you know, you're in kind of an area where, hey, you know, you could step out and, um, you know, hit just a fun hot spot, you know, it, it's, uh, and it sounds like, yeah, Aruba, you know, in their downtown area, um, yeah, I mean, it, it just sounds perfect, and like you say, you got to be respectful about the local laws, of and, uh, you know, be, be careful of that, um, but, 
you know, hopefully there will come a day when, you know, the majority of places embrace what we do instead right. of, you know, where we have to, you know, look behind our backs. Yeah, my, my thought process with that whole thing was, well, I'm having trouble down in Atlantic City in my local state because they've never heard of this stuff. What's going to happen in Aruba? You know, that right. was my thought process. So that's why I kind of was just like, you know what? I'm going to do like, you know, old school and just enjoy it with my wife. Just play, you know, slot machines with my wife and enjoy the time. And, you know, that was it. So whatever. But obviously I ended up hitting a massive one, which would have did, you know, probably amazing on, on a YouTube platform. But oh, you know, always makes the trip a little better when that happens, doesn't it? Well, especially considering the the... You know, what I was dealing with, like, it stunk. We just spent so much money going to Aruba right. for her birthday on top of it. It was her 30th birthday. And we finally got, you know, we got rid of the kids. And it was like, come on, let's let's go and do this like we did on our sure. honeymoon because that's where we went. And Oh, wow, great. And I'm locked up with um, with food poisoning for four days. So Ugh, that happening, the, worst. the last night that we were there was like, all right, awesome. You know, you just gave yeah. me... You, you just basically paid for my trip. My whole trip was free, you know, and I suffered, you know, food poisoning for four days. But <laughs> oh, that, that kind of made up for it. Without that happening, it would have been like, man, this stunk. Like, we never right. have to go back, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But, um, okay, so what what are your what are your go-to machines? Go-to machines. Um, yeah, good question. Um, you know, it, it might surprise you. Um, I, I don't really have, you know, like, you know, that, that, favorite go-to machine at this point um i really try and play a variety of machines you know and when i go to the casino i like to float around um i like to do different machines uh, like even on my channel you know i'd say six out of seven days of the week i'm playing a different machine right and it, it, it may even be a one and done but you know when i walk in you know depending on where where i'm at um you know, I'll, I'll, you know, there are certain, you know, games I like, yeah, I'd love to get a video for this one, you know, and I, I, I try and try, uh, you know, and, and just, uh, you know, play a variety. Um, I will say, um, you know, I, I, I certainly love some of the Ainsworth games. Um, I find, uh, you know, it's not at least, uh, you know, completely rare to win like a hundred times your bet on them. Um, so, you know, being able to play a machine where, you know, at least for me, uh, you know, I, I think it's kind of a big win, you know, if you can hit that 100x, um, you know, I, uh, you know, I always like trying to do that. And, um, you know, a lot of the link games, I mean, Lightning Link is, um, I, I just think it's a, uh, you know, a, a fantastic game. Yeah. I mean, it's, got, it's probably like the game of the decade. Yeah, you know? it definitely it, is. It's, it's the new trend. Yep. It, it's, it's not only created the trend, uh, I, I I think, you know, it still holds up so well, um, and playing it, you know, at a, at a higher limit, you know, 1250 of that or, or, or more, I mean, you, you know, if you get one of the bonuses, you, you, you definitely have a chance and, um, it's just such a well-designed game. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, you know, there, there isn't at this point, you know, a particular game for me, it's, it's more like, you know, a particular type of machine, a lot of the old classics, um, uh, you know, I, I, I love playing a lot of the retro games. Yes. You know, I don't even believe it's nostalgia or anything like that. I think it's, you know, many of them are just so, you know, they're well designed to give you a shot. Um, you, you know, you win, you lose, but you're not going to get just ground, ground down and not have a chance to win anything. And, and that's what I think a lot of the new games, you know, you, you just have to um, be you know, aware of what you're playing, uh, because, you know, some games are designed just to be kind of entertainment style games, and you can play them for maybe, uh, you know, a longer time than you could an older game, but, you know, to win that 100x, well, good luck, right. you know, and, uh, uh, but I think a lot of the old school ones, you know, you, you still have, you know, maybe more of a chance to do that, you know, that, like the volatility of the game is, is um, uh, you know, nicely balanced. So, so you have a fair shot, you know, at least to, you know, to, to win something that you'd be satisfied with. Right, right. As you know, I'm the retro guy. So that's that <laughs> should have been my... <laughs> you, you really, that yeah. Been, that should have been my, Did you see the last video I just posted up by any chance? The Double Dragon? Uh, the, yeah, I did. Tim. Absolutely. Let me tell you something, man. As long as I've been going to the Gold Nugget, it is in the same exact place. I never see anybody play this machine i don't even right. remember if i ever have before maybe but that day i happened to be like you know what because 
you can only do so much in a high limit room. Now that I'm the high limit guy, there's only so much I can do, especially when I frequent the same exact place. Sure. I, I want to give everybody a variety, like you're saying, which is why I play the new games as well. But it seems like that high limit room has a lot more older machines than newer, obviously. And I was just like, I've never played this Double Dragon. I, let me take a video of it. And I rocked that. That machine, literally the comments were making me laugh because people are like, was that a slot machine or was that an ATM? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, you nailed it. It was just spitting right. out tickets at me. I'm like, this is fantastic. Now I know what's going to happen. I'm going to go back. I'm going to record myself on the machine. I'm going to put 500 in, and 500 is going to go quicker than anything of all time. So I don't know whether to leave it at, you know, as it is, and just leave that one video, that double dragon, or give it another shot. But I know how this story goes. <laughs> I know how this story ends. Yeah. You know? Uh, I, I, well, it's so funny. <laughs> like, like when you take, like, a retro machine like that, there isn't a bonus per se. Right. And since you're not dealing with bonus payouts, well, you know, all that money, you know, goes into just standard payouts, right. you know, to make it, um, you know, to occur more frequently or, 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 or have higher payouts. But, you know, you're right. I, I've been in that situation before where, you know, I've killed it. You know, I've, you know, I got a huge jackpot. I made this huge run. And part of me is like, well, God, that was fun. And then the other part of me is like, why don't I just retire that machine and move on because, um, you know, and, and call it a winner, you know? <laughs> right. Right. I, I can't. You know what's funny, man? I, I don't... I'm not a big fan of bonus games and extra stuff. Uh, I'm not even going to lie to you. It, it's not... It's I, I mean, it's fun, obviously. I, you see me play all the Lightning Links. I do that as well. And they, right. just, they, they just put new light, not Lightning Links in there. The Magic Pearl and the other one, the, the Vegas-themed one. And I was like, okay. this, this is awesome. Because now we have Sahara Gold. And then we had the... Um, what is that? The, the Dragon one. What the heck is the name of it? With the, the the white the white and red dragon. Oh, uh, Happy dragon. Lantern. That's it. I think it is. Yeah, yeah. Happy Lantern. Those were the only two that were in there, and now they just okay. put these other two in, so it's like awesome. Now I have four. Right. But it's so funny, Tim. As long as I've been playing, my top five jackpots of all time are all on old school machines, and I sure. I, I play you know twenty five dollars a spin, fifty dollars a spin sometimes on those Sahara Golds. I've hit in, I've hit the major. On both of those machines, Happy Lantern and Sahara Gold, I've hit the major the same day on both of those machines, which was awesome. Absolutely. 60, whatever, 100, 6,900 here. And I'm just like, you know, this, this is great. But those games have got me more losses than wins overall because they do the crap that I was talking to with Jack. I'm doing $25 a spin. Oh, look, a winning line, $5. And I'm like, What? What are you giving me five dollars on all the old school <laughs> <laughs> right? I, yeah. on, on all the old school machines? If you get anything, the lowest thing you can get in sequence, it either gives you your money back or right. a little bit extra. And that's why I love those cherries. That's why I say gotta love those cherries, man. Because they either match your bet or they give you a little bit more. If it's like a three coin machine, usually they give you four instead. It's like sure. the one triple diamond. That's what draws me to those older machines. I'm not. I this is crazy. But when I'm spinning, $20 a spin on triple double diamond, let's say, 20, 20, 20, and I'm lost, 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 cherry, you know, there's 40, and then bump, 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 single bars for 100. I prefer that over winning, and I'm doing the parentheses over the winning right, right now, winning on a Sahara Gold for five when I'm betting 25. You didn't win, you know, you lost. <laughs> Put loss. Stop, Put stop, loss stop, stop, on loss. the machine, right? It's all yeah. a brain mechanism that they're... They know what they're doing. They're not stupid. But, well, and, and it's, I mean, it's its a really, you know, in some ways balanced game. I mean, it does give you some of those, you know, sh uh, smaller hits. And then, you know, like uh, with, with the way the um, uh, hold and spin bonus goes, you know, you might get five out of six and then you're like, oh, I'm close. But, you know, you had that positive feeling, you know, and, you know, oh, I was close. And, um you know, and the two different bonuses, that, that's what I think draws a lot of players. You know, it's even when you're losing, you're still, you know, many times you can be entertained. Correct. Um, and, it, you know, just the balance of many of them, you know, I, I, I think, man, they, they, they just, they, they really nailed it. Because when you think about the challenge of a slot machine, you know, you're trying to entertain players and take their money. I mean, slot machines aren't designed to, you know, give you a net payout. Uh, so how, how do you do that? Right. You know, how do you balance that and keep players entertained? 
And, you know, and, and that's, of course, you know, the holy grail that everybody's after. And, you know, everybody tries different things, you know, diff different ways to make that happen. I mean, uh, unlike you, I love the bonus games. Right. I mean, I'm completely, you know, entertained. I love trying to, um, you know, uh, unlock all the features. Uh, like, every has, you know... I mean, God, the graphic design in their games is just top oh, notch. It's, oh, you know, yeah, it's A++. It's plus. A++, plus plus, that's how they keep you there. It's awesome. Bright lights, how HD everything is. Like, in comparison to an old school machine, that right. blows it out of the water. I mean, it's so entertaining, like you said. And on top of it, it's not just like um, top dollar. You know, top dollar. The only thing that can happen on top dollar is obviously you hit a hand pay, or boom, that, that top dollar symbol comes right. out. But that's it. Whereas, like you said, you have free games that can come out. You have, uh, let's just use the Sahara Gold, for instance. You have the, the free games that can come out with the, you know, you pick the treasure chest and whatnot. But even in those treasure chests, you might get the hold and spin feature, which is another feature of it. So it's like you have these multiple outlets of entertainment. I get it. I love it. Yes, of course, when everything comes out, I love it. But I'm just like... You know, all right, I'm done here. Let me go back to triple red, white, blow, and just <laughs> <laughs> see yeah, they try to make some money. <laughs> see, see, see my cherries come out, and that makes me happy. Apparently, right? Know? So I don't know. I'm, well, I'm a weirdo. And, and, and isn't that like an important thing, though? That, that's what I, you know, I, like, you know, like I mentioned before about places to go. It's great to have the variety. You yeah, know, if I, I ran agree. a, I mean, if I ran a casino, I'd have like. You know, I consider having a retro section. You know? Yeah, you should. I, I mean, right? I mean, why not have you know have all the the, the you know the major manufacturers um, you know have have all their games you know have the Ainsworth, have the Every. I mean, they're two of the lesser ones, but they're fun. You know, yes, and of I course, agree. you know, like, like like the retro IGT games and retro WMS games. I mean, they're great. And and, and then Aristocrat. I mean, I mean Aristocrat. You know, they're they're they're. I mean. God, it, it's it's hard to say, uh, you know. Enough. I mean, a lot. You know, their games. Uh, you, you can win win a boatload. Um, right. I can go on and on. I, I think uh, uh, you know each of the manufacturers has something interesting to offer. And as a player, I like you know casinos that have you know a good variety of each. You know, uh, uh, Konami is another one. You know, started I think or I shouldn't say I don't know the history that well, but I mean certainly I've known them from video games and then. Uh, you know, they, they have a lot of interesting stuff too, you know, incredible technologies, you know, they were golden tea and now they, they have an interesting take. Um, you know, I'm, I'm sure I've left some out, but I mean, just the idea that the variety is great, you know, the old is great, the new is great, but just don't get rid of all your old machines. Don't, yeah, don't, know? don't do one, you know, cause that's, that's not a smart business model anyway, in any sense of, uh, of anything when you go anywhere, you know, you shouldn't just have just this. You should have a variety. And the funny thing is, if there was a survey done, I guarantee you that, that most slot machine players are 50 plus. You know? So it's all older people that are playing, all retired people. Why would you get rid of these old machines? This is what they play. Right. They don't play Lightning Lake. You know? <laughs> like my parents well, don't play I, Lightning I disagree Lake. with you a bit on there. I think everybody plays Lightning all Lake right. in yeah, the States. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, you're right. It, it definitely is a draw. You're right. I, I won't be biased there. I feel like... When I go down, because I, I don't go on weekends. I hate the weekends. So yeah. whenever I'm there and it's a Tuesday, you know, a random Tuesday, all you see are older people. And right. they're playing their penny machines. They're playing their poker, their their video poker, and the older machines. I don't see them playing any updated, upgraded machines or anything of that sort, anything that's right. crazy, you know, to them. They just put a new machine in. I can't – it looked awesome. I just forgot the name of it. It has eights. It has to do with eights. It's it's like a like one of those um, like Chinese themed, Asian themed machines. I don't remember the name of it. It's kind of like food delay and and stuff like that. But it's like a new one. And I was okay. like, this is pretty cool. But but they got rid of my Phoenix Gold machine in order to put right. that one there. And I'm very upset about that. Very upset about that. I wish they didn't do that. I wish they would have got rid of something else. You know that wasn't like you know I, you have. 55 Wheel of Fortune machines. You couldn't get rid of one of right. them? You know, like, come on. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I don't understand that either. Um, you know, I look around the floors of some of the places, you know, and you'll, you know, th there, there will be, like, uh, like the dream or something like that. Good game. 
But do you need ten of them? Right. Yeah, right. Do you need ten? I mean, you know, that, that, that's the thing. Why have duplicates, um, you know, all over the place, you know, especially if they're not being played, you know, extensively? Um, and then, you know, you bring in a new game and get rid of one that, you know, players actually like. Right, I agree. Um, yeah. I agree. Yeah. I definitely agree with you there. And what the, um, what was I getting? Oh, dude, they have to bring, they have to give me American Original. Have you ever played that? I have. Oh, yes. man, I hit the 100 free spins on that one time. Yeah. It was the, mo- it took 25 minutes. <laughs> okay? That's, That's why I, I want to hit that on the Zeus, because I'll go nuts if I hit it on the Zeus. But oh, I was yeah. like, oh, my God, this, this was like when I first started gambling. You know, I'm playing the American Original, which is very, very basic, obviously. It's an old machine. But it's just like, that was cool. The thing comes up in the wheel and landed on 100 right. free spins. I was like, oh, my God, this is amazing. Like, where are they? You got rid of them all. Leave one. Yeah. Leave one. Leave, leave one. I, I, I mean, you know, over the past year, it seems like it's, you know, it's turning into this, um, I don't know if I want to say golden age, but, you know, there is a, just this huge amount of content. And, and a lot of the newer games, I mean, for maybe a few years back, I was starting to get a little down on that. I'm, I, I'm like, you know, what, what are you doing? You know, what are you doing with some of the design? But some of the, you know, the games these days, um, you know, I think, uh, uh, you know, they've, they, they, they've learned from their mistakes. And, um, uh, you know, some of the design on, on some of the newer games is, is fairly solid. You know, um, uh, not, not every new game, of course, but, um, you know, I think we're with content, you know, that's coming out. We're at a better place now than, than we than we were maybe two years ago. And you know what? You, you know what's perfect because we're on the subject of lightning links. This is one of the questions I was gonna I was gonna ask you or tell you to say yeah. on on Tim's website, the thebigpayback.com, He has a section called Ask Zeus, which by the way I've read every volume, every single volume. <laughs> That's great. Okay, and on one of those, I love it because you talk about stopping the reels. Oh yeah. Can you please tell these people? That it does not matter if you hit the stop button or not. <laughs> Can you please? Are, are, are you kidding? No, no. What I wrote on the website is wrong. All of my big wins are a result of stopping the reels. I that is my that is my secret. You know, if you made it this far in the podcast, you now know my secret. It's all about stopping the reels, everybody. Because, um, yeah, it, it didn't. I mean, you didn't know that. You didn't know that it's stopping. That, that, that's the big secret out there. <laughs> like that's the greatest part and i i know people want to hang on to that and feel like they have control i get it you know but do you really think that they was to design these machines to say oh look all the symbols are falling at once if i hit stop they're all gonna land if i hit stop it's oh, gonna change it i mean man. you know there, there are three things uh you know that that i just you know keep repeating you know there are, there are three common myths out there um well the first one is stopping the reels that you can affect your outcome uh, it, it doesn't affect it. Whatever lands that you see land uh, when you press the button is exactly, exactly what you'd see uh, if you would have just let it play out. Um, you know, it doesn't matter if I were to say, hey, go into the instructions and, you know, it'll even note that what they call the quick stop behavior doesn't change the outcome. It doesn't matter. I mean, I could say it till I'm blue in the face. A lot of people, they will they will swear by it because they'll remember this time that they, quote unquote, stopped the reels and they got a jackpot. And you're right. Or a bonus game or whatever. Or, or a bonus game or, 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 or whatever. Right. And, uh, you know, and it's impossible for me to tell them or to prove to them that if they would have just let it go, they would have had the exact same result. But, you know, and the other argument I use is like, well, if that was really the case, what you'd have would be professional slot players out there, you know, in droves, learn, you know, stopping the reels. Yeah, right. I, I, I mean, it, you know, it, it, it's like, doesn't it pass the smell test? I mean, you, you, you can't, and yet I say it till I'm blue in the face, and then, you know, the other two that I could think of are using your card uh, is negative, oh, uh, wow. which of course it's not, or free play doesn't, um, no. uh, you yes, know, man. doesn't work as well as real money. And I, I can attest, so look, I won $33,175 and, uh, on a bet that was partially on free play. So it, you, it, it, you don't, you know, slot machines don't need to cheat. The casino doesn't need to cheat right. to, to make money in the long run. It's already in their favor. It's already in the favor. What they need to do is keep you playing. And, 
uh, you know, that's why, you know, hey, taking breaks is good, you know, break it up. If you can, if you can enjoy yourself, play a little less and enjoy yourself just as more, you know, or, or more, why not do that? I mean, you know, it, it's, it, it, you know, but the, the machines don't need the cheat, you know, yeah. that, that, that's the thing. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it, it no matter what we say. Um, people will swear by it, of course. and uh, you know it'll just be one of those myths that just keeps going out around and around. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it, it, exactly. I try to tell everybody, and I mean, I'm no, I, I mean, I, I guess I'm not an expert. I don't know what an expert is considered, but I have studied these things. And if you, if anybody listened to my last podcast with Slotman Jack, he brought up an article which I'm going to bring up again. It's on TheVerge.com. I now I forgot what the heck I googled. I was actually while he was talking, I googled it. I found it. It is one of the best reads I have ever done as far as slot machines go. It explains them from when they were first invented until now. It covers everything, everything, and it's so interesting to learn more about you know, especially what you, what we, what you and I are making our life. You know, we should have that sure. not advantage per se, but like that. You know, that knowledge, I mean, dude, you were just ripping down manufacturers, you know, like left and right. I can't do that. I probably could name two or three, but you're like, you know, the Konami and, and the, the, the this, the that. And it's just like, we should know all this stuff. I'm, I recommend that. Please, everybody, go read that article. Go listen to, to the podcast with Slotman Jack for more than two and a half minutes, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So last last thing we'll, we'll touch on. We've been going sure. close to an hour. and. You don't want to. You don't want anybody to only listen to this for two and a half minutes. So <laughs> let's. <laughs> I, I, I hope not. Where Where are we today as a slot community? Oh gosh. Well, uh, uh, interesting question. Um, you know, it, it, it's. I see. You know, like new channels coming on all the time. You know, where Where are we? You know, um, yeah, new channels are coming on online all the time. So you know the. You know, the base of content is growing. Um, the quality is getting better. Um, you know, people, I, I remember when I started this four years ago, there, there weren't as many channels. And, you know, I look at the videos I did then versus the ones I've, I've done now. And I think, I, you know, I think I've learned a few things and um, that, that they're more entertaining overall. I'm interacting more. I used to not make any sound when I made my videos and now I'm having more reactions. Um, the... You know, people are live streaming. I haven't done that, but, um, you know, they're doing group polls, uh, you know, and having events. So, um, you know, it, it's an interesting time. And, you know, like we mentioned before, um, it's, you know, when you're dealing with YouTube, um, I, I'd like to think that, you know, we'll all be able to do this, you know, for as long as we, you know, every channel wants to do it in the future without getting, um, you know, shut down by, by YouTube without like, you know, them or Google deciding one day, Hey, we don't want to show people playing slot machines, uh, you know, on, on our platform for whatever reason. Um, and I, so I'd like to think from, you know, that, that, that we're okay doing it because that, that would kill us. That would kill pretty much everything. Right. Um, and for a moment there last year, that almost seemed like that, that was, that was happening. Um, yeah, I, it, it's, you know, where we are as a community, you know, I, I see more and more great content, um, you know, people engaging, you know, there's subscribers more. Um, what, what I also think might be interesting is, um, you know, that as casinos become more aware of what we do. Um, you know, how can, you know, what, what is that idea that, that somebody's yet to think of, you know, um, that really may, you know, push things in a new direction? Like, you know, like what if a, a casino was, was to, um, you know, have their own contest, for example, as far as, you know, post your video online or on our website or something of your win. And, you know, whoever does this or, you know, uh, uh, you know, either has the biggest win or, or such and such, you know, we'll give you an extra prize. I mean, why, why not have, you know, a social contest? You know, you talk about engaging the millennials, maybe that would be a way to do it. I don't know. You know, I, I don't know if anybody knows. Um, but, you know, I see a lot of great channels, a lot of great personalities out there. Um, you know, it's great when everybody kind of does their own thing in their own way and they're authentic about doing it, you know. Um 
Yeah. Uh, what, what, what do you think? What, what's, um, I'm just kind of thinking out loud here. I mean, I'm, I'm new. So it's like, I don't know where we are. Like, like you guys, you guys have been here four or five years. You could tell me how it changed, you know, and, and like where we are now and all the new slot channels that are coming out. I'm still new to this. I'm learning new things every day. And my thing was, hey, you know what I really haven't seen besides on 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 Easy Life uh, Jackpots Joe, you know he he does his his streams and his podcasts. I, I I don't even know if podcast is is the right name to even use for this, but right. uh, let me just tell you something. First of all, let me just go off the radar here. He is unbelievable to watch. He is so entertaining, and his last one when he had Brent up there. I, I was yeah. like, oh my god! It, it was so enjoy. It was like I was watching stand up comedy, and I'm a big comedian lover and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. They were just firing off, and it was so enjoyable to watch because you get to see them too, which is you know that that's where they're ahead of me. There, I don't even know how to do that. First of all, oh yeah, I don't either. Yeah, I'm, I'm still learning how to stop my email from making a sound in the background <laughs> while we're recording the podcast. You know what I mean? But it, it's just like that is so so enjoyable. So. You know, I did see that, and obviously everybody's lives, and like Brian did a, um, Brian did a how to create a slot channel, like podcast right. thing for, it was an hour and 45 minutes long or whatever, and I was just like, you know what, I don't show my face, at this point, I, I don't show my face, you know, I, I just have my, my comedic sarcasm, just like you do, when you're playing the machines and like it misses, and you know, you, that's what drew me to you too, was your sarcasm and your laugh of, you know, like you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, you know, like you, you right. gotta be kidding me. So that's where I am too on that. So I was like, you know what? Not a lot of people know about me. They don't know my background. They don't know where I'm from. They don't know anything. You know what? I'm just gonna talk. Then all of a sudden, everybody loves my voice. Then people are recognizing me by my voice. They love the podcast, and I mean, for the most part, they love the podcast. And I'm just like, you know what? What would, what would separate me from everybody else? And it was right. this. And then I was like, wait a minute. I'm in touch with a lot of slot channels. Why don't I have other slot channels come on here with me and they can talk about their background, how they started, where they're from, what casinos they play. Let me get you guys out there as well and I want to get to know you guys as well. So it, it's like a like a like a hat trick almost, you know, for, for me personally. So right. I enjoy I love doing this. I'll I'll do this for the next 4 hours if if you want to stay on the phone with me, you know, like I <laughs> I'm enjoying yeah. getting to know everybody because now, when eventually we get to meet or do a collaboration or something of that sort, dude, I know so much about you now, you know, that, that now we can mingle. It, it, it's just not about, you know, collaborate. All right, dude, we're, we're here. All right, let's record some videos right, right. and we're done. No, nah, let's hang out for the night. Let's grab a drink. Let's get to know each other even more. Let's become friends o over this, you know. I'm very big on that, too. Everybody's supporting everybody. And I know there are some quarrels in the in the slot community and stuff like that. And that stinks. But, you know, I you can't, you can't, you know, break free will. Whoever doesn't like each other doesn't for whatever reasons. But I don't dislike anybody. I hope it never comes to that point. I just want to like everybody. I want to help everybody too. I'm now here to help these up-and-coming slot channels. I tell them, email me. Right. Email me questions. Email me this. Tell me about this. What do you want to do? Maybe I can help. Like, I just got done with my first group poll, and I was telling Jack, like, there was a lot of stuff that I didn't know going into that group poll. So if, sure. if, if you're going to do a group poll, let me know. I'll tell you some of the stuff that I had go wrong or right, and you feed off that. You know, do it that way. Or, or take that and leave that in the back of your mind like, oh, wait a minute. You know what? And NJ Schlock, I said, you know, make sure you do this or make sure you – and maybe it will help. I, at least I would hope. So that's where – you know, that's where I want to be as a slot community. I want everybody to help everybody. We have to help each other because, again, this is still a very small part of YouTube. A very small, uh, you know what, maybe not a small audience. I mean, you're talking, look, you have 52 million views. I have, I don't know, I can only imagine Scott and Brian and all the other big channels that, that are out there as well. So I don't want to say it's small per se, but it does seem like it's not as out there as maybe we make it seem it's definitely not so the only way we can do that is by coming in this together and promoting everybody oh and, i i completely you know? agree i i, I mean it, it's it wouldn't shock me if like a year or two down the line or whatever we found that traffic just went through the roof for everybody right um you know there is 
I, I always take the, you know, the, um, you know, or my feeling on the subject is, is very similar to yours. I don't view you as competition. I, I view Correct. everybody, I try and help every channel that I can. Um, I, you know, I, I enjoy, you know, you know, certain channels. Um, you know, the, the only thing for me is how many hours, uh, you know, are there in the day? I mean, this takes up a huge amount of my oh, time. And yeah. then, I mean, a huge amount of time. And then, you know, look, I, I, I'm not rich. I mean, I, I, I have my day job. Um, you know, and day job responsibilities, um, you know, so, and then I'd like to have a little bit of a life beyond it too. Um, you know, it, it, it's, but, but why, yeah, why not support each other? And like you said, you know, it's great to have the podcast. I think that brings something, you know, more into the community. Um, I think both, uh, Brian and Scott, I think are, are, they're working on Scott is in a big jackpot on a documentary film. And I think Brian has one, you know, and, you know, will this evolve into more of like, you know, episodic uh, uh, TV? I don't know. That would be um, awesome. We'll have you know, a whole Netflix it, it, documentary or something. That'd be, yeah, that'd be awesome. I, I mean, there, you know, I could see that happening at least on some level. Um, but yeah, it, you know, it, it seems like everything is moving forward. Um, you know, new channels like, I mean, like I mentioned before, yeah, your channel is doing fantastic. I mean, it's, it's great. We all bring, you know, our own... Uh, you know, unique approach to it. Um, you know, and I, I, I think that's, um, yeah, I think that's what makes it all fun. I agree, man. I definitely agree. Cause like I said, there is no competition. Like I, I, I don't look at you guys as competition because it's one platform that's paying us all. It's not like first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth place. There's no Super Bowl. There's no championship. There's no anything. It shouldn't be a competition. It should be everybody promoting everybody so we can all make a ton of money well not me obviously right now but you guys you know you guys yeah it's so wrong man i, I really hope you get approved soon stop. it's just i, I it's, it's horrible it is horrid what i'm going through right now because oh I, I went through the same thing like uh, i said every day every day i'd wake up i check and, you know, and I'd see like, oh, you're still under review. And this is after being approved for years, you know. So I mean, dumb. why couldn't I be put at the front front of the line? I, I, I just, you know, I was I was going crazy. I was going crazy. I, I don't know, man. Could you imagine they reject me? I don't know what I would do. I don't know what it's, I do. you know, um, and, and that's part of the issue when you're dealing, you know, with, um, I mean, we're reliant on our platform, you know. And, uh you know, I, I watch a lot of the, you know, the uh, videos they have for creators and everything. And, you know, part, part of me just wants to say, look, you know, some of us creators out here, I mean, we're just, you, you know, we're just in some ways scared of, of the power that you have over us. Yeah. Um, so you, know, it, it, we, you know, you know, we play by the rules, we do our best. And then, like, some error can take us out, or and we have no recourse. I mean, make us feel better by at least assuring us that at the end of the day, we'll get a fair shake. We'll be able to talk to a human being, and we'll be able to have some recourse. Um, and right now, I don't feel like that. I, I uh, Yeah, it is scary. You're, you're absolutely... I'll go to the headquarters, man. You know what I mean? I'll go, to, I'll go to the headquarters, okay? And I will work my way inside of that place and sweet talk my way in and bribe whoever I got to bribe. If if there were any negative or like let's let's just say that did happen, they were like, sorry, you're not you're not monetized. I'm taking the first flight out there, and I will find them, and I'm gonna be like, what is your problem? Like I don't do anything wrong here, and I'm doing everything right. everybody else is doing. Like I, I'm all I'm doing is driving people to your place. On top of it, like come on, throw me a bone. But they should have something just for creators alone or certain create to at least be in touch. I can't email anybody. I don't have that option. So I can't email yeah. anybody. I get automated responses or I get no replies at YouTube. And it's like, come on, man. Let me speak. Give me a phone number at least. Let me talk it, to somebody. I mean, you know what it is as part of this is, I mean, in my career, I've, you know, created solutions for, um, you know, hundreds or thousands of people. Um, but I've never created a solution for millions or billions of people. Um, and... You know, and, and I can understand that's a challenge on YouTube side. They're growing so quick. Oh yeah, um, it's you know, it 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 it's it certainly. I look, I I can I get that. And the only thing you know, I really hold out faith in is that um, you know, as time passes, that they'll get their growth in issues under control, and you know, continue to improve. Um, 
and, and just make it, you know, a, a better place for creators. And, you know, so we don't have to worry about these issues. Um, that's my hope. That's my hope. Yeah, I agree. I'm sure it'll only get better, you, you know, because it's it's YouTube, let's be honest. So I'm, I'm sure things will fix. They definitely know that they have a huge backlog. Everybody's now talking about it, making a big deal. If you go on the forums, oh, my God, all the, all oh, the yeah. people that aren't. So I'm sure that once whatever this is passes, they will do whatever it is. You have to. You, 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 can't, you can't be YouTube and have this happen. So I'm sure they will fix it. I'm very confident that they will do so. And I'm sure that they will do the right thing when it comes to me. I'm just patiently waiting and still putting up yeah. content. Yeah, the, the, the waiting stinks. Uh, yeah, it, it's rough. I've yeah, been there. it stinks. It definitely does. But um, all right, let's uh, let let Tim. Thank you so much uh, for joining me. Obviously today, uh, you are. So this was a lot of fun. I, I really man. appreciate you having me on, and um, you know, I, I you know, I wish you all the best with your channel. I I think. I mean, you, you, you know, you've just come on the scene and, you know, it's, it's terrific. Uh, you got, you got great content. Um, you know, the podcasts are great. It's a, it's a great way to, um, you know, bring attention and, you know, and, and just introduce, like you say, introduce other channels. And, and this was just uh, so much fun. And so I appreciate you reaching out and having the opportunity to speak with you today. Of course. And, you know, I couldn't, couldn't be more honored to have you on here and, for, for all you guys who are either just tuning in, which wouldn't make any sense, check out the, the Big Payback on YouTube. Subscribe to his channel. He also has a website, thebigpayback.com. Check out that Ask Zeus section, too, by the way. I, I, love, I loved it. And this is NJ Slock Guy signing off, guys. Thanks for joining us. We really appreciate it. And uh, we'll have some more videos for you soon. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Take care. Thanks.